best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for six rounds in the super flyweight division and is sanctioned by the Texas State Athletic Commission. Your three judges for this bout are Mr. Joel Elizondo, Mr. Steve Jaramillo, and Mr. Ro Roy Ovalle. The third man in the ring and your referee is Mr. Ruben Carrion. First of all, introducing to you, out of the blue corner, this young man hails from Corpus Christi, Texas and weighed in at 114 pounds. He has an outstanding fight record of six wins, five losses, one defeat, two big wins by way of knockout. Please help me welcome Mr. Eliseo Vea. Vea. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 114 and one half pounds and hails from Los Angeles, California. He is a 2000 US Olympian. Put your hands together for that. He has a record of seven wins, zero defeats, and two big wins by way of knockout. Put your hands together and welcome Jose Navarro. Navarro in the red corner. Third man in the ring. Mr. Ruben, carry on with the instructions. Time. So Navarro and Alicio Vila eight. set up for their eight rounder. Schedule yeah, for eight. Yeah. That should be quite Great. a test if it Let goes me know that when far. you're ready. Can I go? Navarro only has seven pro fights, so he's going to get to that second realm. As you go up the ladder, start with four, and the six rounders, eight rounders, then you get 10 rounders and the championship 12 rounders. When you get into the eight round company, you start to make some of the, the better money that can be out there, and also you move closer toward that championship distance, and if you want to be taken seriously, as you get a look at Vila, who uh, will be taken seriously in terms of appearance, if nothing else. All right, Navarro, Vila, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Most important of all, protect yourselves at all times. Watch your heads inside and watch low blows. Touch gloves and turn to your corner. So, that's all done. And Vila really needs Let's go. to get a victory to get out of that opponent category, which as you get closer to 500, that's what happens. He is 6-5-1. and one. Navarro 7-0. and oh. Neither guy has a big knockout record. They both only got two knockouts. So maybe that will make both of them brave. Navarro in the blue trunks is the southpaw. Taps Vila with the right hand. Vila would love to get a right hand lead going. Love to get a double left hook going, but as he tries to lean into a hook, he takes a right hook. And Navarro opening up. Good early opportunity there for Jose Navarro. Stiff jab by Navarro. Vila looking to dig a body shot in. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Both fighters trying to find their range. Navarro just about landed a left hand flush. He made a nice move, fainting to the right, and then darted straight at Vila. But Vila blocked it just in time. Nonetheless, if you're Navarro, you've got to think about coming back to that if the fight goes on. Maybe Vila will be tired later. 
Guevara utilizing that height and reach here. Guevara using it well. The jab, the straight left hand. Works the left hand again. So Navarro on a bit of a roll. Opens up, uppercut, scores with it. Navarro fighting with a lot of confidence right here. Good uppercut by Navarro. Nice right hook as he digs in. And Vila looking confused. Also may have some blood coming out of his nose shortly. He does. So it's been all Navarro as he uses the reach wisely. And he is really cutting up Vila here in the opening round. The left of the body by Navarro. And so he is building on some of the fundamental things he did well in the last minute. Popping out his jab, he's following with his straight left hand. And so Navarro with an excellent opening round. Second round between Jose Navarro and Alicio Villa in San Antonio, Texas. Get off this the is head, Dave get off Bontempo the head. Side. First round was a big one for Navarro. As he went to work with a reach advantage of four inches or eight centimeters, whichever you prefer. Right hook by Navarro. There you go. There you go. Go, Jose. Back Jose. looking for the perfect shot. Ducking down here. And then a snapping uppercut by Navarro. But based on how he came out in the opening round, and how this fight fits stylistically. Navarro has a chance to put a rare knockout victory on his legend. Body shot by Navarro. Vila answers. Body shot by Navarro, then he opens up underneath. Vila not able to do much when Navarro attacks. Uppercut by Navarro, body shot, right hook by Navarro. Vila tries to answer with the right hand. But Navarro has him caged in. Hooked by Navarro, and then a left hand sneaking through. Villa answers with a hook. So Villa finding some punching room to the body, while Navarro looks for the right hook to the head. with a couple to the body. Vila trying to move laterally and get something going. But Navarro cuts him off. Now Navarro has Vila in the corner. Good opportunity. But time running down in this round. Condition's good, don't worry about nothing. Okay. I'll get your nose right now. Give me some water. Okay, take a couple deep breaths. Come on, son. Break. Right. Do not let this guy stretch out the fight. Okay? Jose? 
He's going to try to stretch it out and see if you got the stamina to finish up six, seven, and eight. You understand me? How do you not, how do you prevent that? Body attack. Body attack, muévete, and set up the left and lead, right? When he's not there, Jose, when he least expects it, put everything behind that left hand lead, but take your time. Scoring with the right hooks in that round. Second down. Getting right through Second Velo's down. defenses. And he had a very good round. Third round, scheduled for eight. Jose Navarro in the blue trunks. And Alicio Villa, the shorter of the fighters. Navarro's corner telling him wisely that Villa wanted to stretch out the fight and try to win it late. Thinking that Navarro with just the seven fights would have trouble finishing the eight round distance. But if Vila is playing for a late strategy, he needs to win some of these early rounds to still be in the fight if he tries to mount a charge later. Vila is cut from the nose, has abrasions around his eye, and you see the slashing effectiveness of Navarro's jab. And he's opened up. A sea of crimson on Vila here. Let's go, let's go. Watch that open. Let's go. Let's go. Bleeding openly from the nose and then other areas. So he has a lot of problems on his hand. Even if the blood is not flowing out of the eye, in which case it's a threat to stop the fight. It is annoying to a fight. Anywhere it is. Makes you wipe it sometimes. It makes you sometimes hesitate about your attack. And it puts you in trouble. Navarro. Scoring it well. Body shots. Jed. Amazing fashion. Yellow got in one to the body. But Navarro out punching him handily. Navarro trying to keep the pressure on. Uppercut by Navarro. Good right hook to the body by Navarro. Downstairs again. Good right hook by Navarro. So round three is one in which Jose Navarro takes what is given. The body attack is going to take its toll. Rounds five, six, seven. Those are your rounds. Give me the mouthpiece. Put it right there. Okay, Jose. All right. Look. Take deep breath. Mm. You're doing well when you when you get inside. Time in. Don't Let's lean go. in. Time in. You understand? When you get inside, work and move it. Okay. Over. Let's go. Let's go. Navarro really listened to his corner in that round and worked the body. Goes up to the head, but look at the right hooks to the side. He scores very well with them. This is not what it's all about, tough. We're about here to win. And you know what it takes to win, son. You want a lot of fights, a lot of fights, son. But you're not throwing your combinations. You're not throwing your combinations. You're not throwing that right. You're not following up with that left. You're not answer. putting those uppercuts when you're inside things. Fourth round action. As Jose Navarro and Alicio Villa come to the center of the ring. And then Navarro 
works Vila back. Vila survived one test between rounds three and four. The ringside doctor looked at his nose to make sure it wasn't broken. Then he allowed the fight to continue. You get a good look at this brawl on the inside. Coming right at you. Vila trying to work the body, and you see how Navarro's reach is a big asset for him. Boy, the reach just gives you such a big edge. It prevents your opponent from scoring oftentimes. Let you sit back and operate behind a jab. Then it can set up a lot of opportunities off your jab. So Vila being game here. He digs in, tries to work the body. Vila would love to fight on the inside. It's a good spot for him. If he can do that, the reach is not such a problem. Navarro continues to try working the body. And as you see, the eye is now also cut. And that's a bad spot for Vila. So Vila has blood from the nose, and now he has a huge problem out of his right eye. And his corner has given the chance to have a major obstacle to overcome between rounds. And so for Alicio Vila, if he can make it through this round, whether he makes it to round five will depend on what kind of a corner he has. And the other problem is he's not a big knockout puncher. And he's getting to the spot of the fight because of the cut. And he pretty much has to gamble and try for a knockout. The problem is he only has two in 12 fights. So Navarro has Vila right where he wants, staring at many problems. And the most immediate problem will take place between rounds with his corner. It's over, son. It's over, okay? And take a look at his hand. It's over, son. It's over. It's good decision. It's good decision. Okay? It's over. It's over, son. Okay? It's over. It's over, okay? It's all right. I'm going to stop. So you are. I got time. It's over. It's over. It's over. All right. It's over. Wisely it's over. so. That's a good decision, man. Okay. Okay. So it's over. So we're going to have the cut in the, in the from the nose. You're the cut in the eye, which, give it a couple rounds more, can create problems for us. Turn around. Turn around. But there will not be a round five here. I know it's. Uh, I know it. I know it. Congratulations. Hey, the corner pulls it off. So Alicio Vila will try to fight another day, but he was cut to the nose and cut again to the eye. Between Navarro's height and reach and intensity, Vila was outgunned in every way. And Navarro does get that knockout. I referred to it earlier, and he puts knockout number three on the board. He's 8-0, and he's very happy about how this one comes about because it's a wire-to-wire -wire dominating effort. You always feel good about those kind of fights in which the knockout is just a byproduct of everything you're doing well. Corner never even attempted to close the cut. Vila came back to the corner. They just said, it's over, son. Don't have the doctor come in here and try another day. We're ready for the verdict.
Let's get the verdict right now from Greg Maldonado. Ladies and gentlemen, third man in the ring, Ruben Carrion, stops this bout. At the end of round four, your winner now running his record to eight wins and no defeats, your 2000 U.S. Olympian, Jose Navarro. Navarro, your well, winner. Jose Navarro, happy with this one as he becomes 8-0.